Welcome to the channel, my name is Grant Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan helping you build your hot rod and your confidence without a ton of money. And it is back, five minute Fridays. It's just a little segment I started almost 11 months ago to the date. I tried to deliver you guys a YouTube message, video, uh, in five minutes or less. Of course, that doesn't count all this rambling and bambling right now, but uh, just kind of so almost like an editorial, my thoughts, kind of what I'm thinking, what I'm digging. And so, um, let's get into it. Let's put five minutes on the clock and let's get started. All right, I'm gonna pick on the age old topic that says you need to learn how to stick weld before you learn how to MIG weld. And I'm gonna kind of flip that on its head and tell you why I think you should learn how to TIG weld before you learn how to weld any other process. And okay, all in all honesty, um, I'm 51% joking with this and I'm 49% serious. I guess maybe a better way to start is let, let me tell you a little metaphor. Maybe this will make sense to you. But so here in Kansas, um, of course we don't have mountains, but um, it's not uncommon for families to want to go on ski trips over to Colorado. And um, so you know, like growing up through grade school, I would say maybe 10% of your class people go on ski trips. Our family is never one of them, but my older brother in-laws were one of those families so when he married in the family of course he went on a ski trip uh, early on in the uh, the old married years and uh, so having never snow skied before he uh, hit, hit the slopes and took one of those enrolled in one of those teaching how to ski classes so of course he had the option to either learn how to snow ski or to snowboard and well since he had never done either of the two he said well what would I like to do he wanted to learn how to snowboard so he kind of told the story about how other people in this how to learn how to snowboard class were struggling it's because they were lifelong long skiers. They were trying to break their minds of everything they thought they knew uh, about snow skiing to learn how to snowboard. Whereas he felt like he picked it up a little bit faster because, well, he was just starting from scratch. So I guess where I'm going with that is that similarly with welding processes, even though I learned how to stick weld first, the whole point of that saying is just that you, there's little takeaways and things you learn from from stick welding that you can apply to MIG welding and I'll be honest I've actually never MIG welded before um, but the way the cost of these inverter machines that they, they keep dropping and dropping um, honestly you can get into arc welding, TIG welding uh, or MIG welding with a good reliable machine for about the same price. So I guess what I'm saying is that if you don't know how to weld at all, pick the machine that's going to uh, get you the most mileage for the projects you want to do. And if that's TIG welding, so be it. Because, um, you know, like I said, I, there are things that um, I, I kind of pulled over to when I started TIG welding that came from arc welding. I still haven't MIG welded. In fact, I signed up for Steve Darnell's uh, welder 101 course uh, unbeknownst to me it's basically all big welding lessons but even watching those videos I've learned some things that I can carry over into arc welding so uh, the point is pick what you want to pick pick what's right for you uh, because no matter what like you, you're still going to have beginner struggles no matter which process you pick up first MIG welding TIG welding stick welding um, you know like like Dipping the tungsten is just as frustrating as sticking your rod in and not the... So, I, I guess what I'm saying is just... Um, and one other thing I want to say about TIG welding is that um, once you get the hang of it, it's uh, as my friend Greg over Greg's Garage said, it, it, it's sort of like the sports cliche where it just slows things down for you. The, when, when you're TIG welding, like you learn how to like study a puddle because it's, it's at such a much slower speed than if you got this sucker really hot, it can get away from you really fast. It, and it, so it, it kind of helps you develop that art, maybe that eye for a puddle, puddle management. Um, and so again, like I said, there's things, no matter which process you start with, there's things you can carry over to the other. And um, you know, at the end of the day, it's one of those things like, you can do anything that you put your mind to it. So much like my brother, with snowboarding, um, just don't be afraid to jump straight into TIG welding. If that's what you really want to do and that's where your passion is, that's the kinds of, you know, maybe you want to do, maybe you want to do like, like fabbing turbo flanges and, and custom headers, things like that, just jump right into it. Um, I, I, you know, 
it's it's really hard to say too. Like it, it is is the amount of good time it takes to get out of that just totally suck at it uh, stage. Is it really any more from one process to the next? You know, I don't know. Probably, I'm sure. I'm sure that there's you guys have strong opinions about that. So leave them in the comments below. Um, but my my other thought is just that uh, I I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, don't be afraid to just jump into welding. Go pick what's right for you guys and just jump into it. That's gonna do it for this episode. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I don't care which one you do. Remember, I do sell merch, like this sweet straight six fan pistons hoodie. Link to my Spreadshirt store below. That's gonna do it for this episode. Till next time, peace out.